Hi, I'm Jim Mulhausen, author of The 51 Fatal Business Sayers and The 8 CEO Secrets. How to create a proven and repeatable sales process so all your salespeople can sell successfully. It seems to be a giant mystery why some can sell and others can't. Some say that the star salespeople are born that way. Others say that knowing all the right sales techniques is more important. We've got a better answer, creating a best of breed company-wide selling process. A strong sales process leads to great salespeople. Think about it. If Sally is your sales superstar and Tom is your poor performer, what's the difference between the two? Well, Sally may have better personality characteristics. However, more than likely, Sally has designed her own selling process that is superior to Tom's. Simply put, poor salespeople create poor sales processes. Excellent salespeople create excellent sales processes. A sales map is a proprietary system that we've created that produces a standardized, repeatable selling process that works. I'll use the term sales mapping as a synonym for company-wide best of breed selling process because, gosh, that's awful long. Our philosophy is quite different from sales training. Sales training is predicated on the belief that poor salespeople need to be taught the moves in order to improve selling skills. Our experience is that poor performers can be taught all the selling skills in the world and not know when to use them. They're like Barney Fife. The bullet stays in the pocket and the gun is never fired. That meaning the sale is never closed. Sales mapping is predicated on the belief that salespeople could improve sales if they used a best of breed process. The reality is that poor salespeople don't sell not because they don't know the process of selling well, it's that they don't know what to say. They've got all these great moves and they just don't know which one to pull out and when. Sales mapping is a key ingredient to creating a strong sales management system. For every company we work with, we create a customized sales map. When we work with the sales staff to create a fluid, consistent selling system that will work for everyone in the organization, not just the superstars. Sales mapping is a proprietary nine-step process. However, you can create your own tune-up of your sales process by doing some of this list. First, create a process to get rid of your poor sales performers faster. There are techniques that can determine whether a salesperson is a keeper in 30 days, not 30 years or 30 months. 30 days. Yes, I did say maximum. You don't need to close a sale to know if somebody's working out. Second, create a sales pipeline model. A well-crafted sales pipeline model should create predictability for upcoming sales as well as create stronger accountability for your staff. Third, model your superstars. Better salespeople follow better process. Model that process. Very rarely do they know what they're doing. So they think it's natural or inborn and that's just hogwash. Observe them, dissect what they're doing, pass it along to the rest of the sales team. Next, find the holes in your marketing. Done right, marketing feeds sales. Now I'm not a big fan of allowing salespeople to whine, we need more marketing. That's just whining. What I mean is what marketing process materials or tools are missing and holding back your sales process. Everybody's got one, find yours. Next, our experience shown that you can improve your sales organization and sales performance by creating a sales map better than doing all the sales training in the world. Sales training is much more contingent upon the sales ability of the individual than a good sales process. We strongly encourage you to improve your sales performance via process rather than sales training. To learn more about this CEO secret and the seven others, Go to the bottom of the page, fill in your first name and your email, and I'll send you this free report. I'll look forward to speaking to you on the next page.